Apple, as you were just hearing there from Scarlett, continuing to steamroll the competition with iPhone sales up 131% last quarter and a very strong debut for the iPad. But our next guest says that Apple isn't the only tech game in town. It would be foolish to underestimate Microsoft. For more on that angle, we are joined right now on the phone by USA Today tech columnist Ed Big. Ed, thanks so much for being with us. You just heard sure. Scarlett give some stats about how Apple is really blowing away Microsoft. But you say, listen, don't oversimplify. Why is that? Well, because it's, you know, Microsoft is still a very relevant company. They're still a huge company. They still have a dominant brand in Windows, and like it or not, it, they're, they're there, you know? They're probably on your, you know, a lot but of people But in fairness, it's no Windows longer computers. thought of as a, a sort of young, hip, innovative company the way right. that Apple is. Re exactly, and they're trying. I mean, they've got some new phones coming out. Just today, there's a leak that the first of, of the so-called Windows Phone 7 smartphones is coming from Dell of all companies later in the year. They're making an effort in mobile. They they're basically have scrapped what came before and completely redesigned the mo mobile operating system. They've got some interesting stuff going on in the, in the kind of Xbox space with something called Project Atal, which is basically you see a ball on the screen, you kick it. You see, you see you know, uh, baseball, you hit it. It's kind of like the Wii, but it's, 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 it's kind of interesting stuff Is it stuff too coming late, there. though, Ed? I mean, you're making comparisons to other companies that already have products out there that people are very happy with. Well, you're right. And uh, they're never going to outbuzz Apple. Let, let's face it. Apple is Apple, and they have terrific products. But Microsoft has made some strides here. I, you know, we've seen this week some interesting numbers from the PC side, and it'll be interesting to see what they come up with later with, with Microsoft's numbers. Windows 7 has actually done very well, and as PC sales recover, that means, of course, good news for Windows and good news for Microsoft. Ed, thanks so much. Love speaking with you. Ed Baig there from USA Today.